I'm Jeff from Grain and Grape, and when it comes to rehydrating yeast, this is how it's done. Successful fermentations begin with the right quantity of healthy yeast. Properly rehydrating dried brewing yeast can result in more viable yeast cells than simply sprinkling the contents of the pack on the top of your wort. I'm taking my information from the Dan Star and Fermentus websites and working with a single 11.5 gram pack of yeast. You can find links to these websites in the description below. I'm cleaning and sanitising everything that's going to touch the yeast using the Clean, Rinse, Sanitise regime. If you've got a microwave oven, put 10 times the yeast's weight of tap water into a Pyrex jug and cover with cling film. Then nuke it. Ideally, your microwave will be cleaner than ours at the shop. If it isn't, or you haven't got one, simply boil the water and add it to a sanitised jug. Let the water cool to between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius, then sprinkle the yeast onto the surface. Leave undisturbed for 15 minutes before stirring to get all the yeast into suspension. Then leave for a further five minutes. Then add the yeast slurry to the wort and clean up. Aeration of the wort is unnecessary, but can improve yeast performance. Getting it wrong can be worse than not doing it. If this all sounds like more effort than it's worth, simply sprinkle two packs of yeast from Grain and Grape and help fund my retirement. And that is how it's done. For more information on any of the topics discussed in our videos, click the links below. Or come into the store and chat to one of our staff members. We run brewing demos most Saturday mornings from 9.30. No need to book, just come on down. Filmed entirely on location in the Grain and Grape demo area, hidden behind the sausage making equipment and the empty bottles.